Regeneration, in medical terms, refers to the ability of a tissue or organ to repair and reheal itself. One of the earliest allusions to the regenerative capability of an organ predates to 700 BC in the age of the legend of Prometheus, the ancient Greek myth. Prometheus, who was a titan and also known to have possessed the ability to create man from clay, angered the gods of Mount Olympus one day when he stole fire from the heavens and delivered it to humankind. As a punishment, Prometheus was arrested and bound to a rock where each day and each night an eagle was set to feed upon his ever-regenerating liver, making him fit for the next day's torture. Our understanding of regeneration, till this day, remains an enigma. However, what if I were to tell you that there is more to this myth, that regeneration or regenerative medicine can be mimicked and manipulated within the mammalian system? While it now has been confirmed that the liver can indeed regenerate from as little as 23% of its tissue, the heart's ability to regenerate is yet to be defined. Often, when a patient suffers a heart attack, the heart undergoes a series of reparative and structural changes, such as the thinning of the heart muscle wall, increased scar formation, and programmed cell death, which occurs in up to as little as 24 hours. These changes often result in an increase in strain and resistance on the heart's ability to effectively pump blood throughout the body. And if left untreated, this will ultimately result in eventual heart failure and death. My project looks specifically into a genetically modified mouse model where the presence of a receptor called the adrenergic receptor acts similar to an antenna within the body picking up signals. In my mouse model, this receptor is amplified by a fold of 66 times greater compared to the normal levels found in humans and mice. I've been able to show that this receptor is a key regulator in not only heart regeneration, but also in the formation of new blood vessels supplying blood to the heart. These mice, when subjected to heart attacks, show an improve in survival rate and, like Prometheus, an increase in cell proliferation within the heart, which is indicative of heart regeneration. This occurs in areas where cell death would otherwise be more prominent post-heart attack. So based on my findings, I found that this receptor actually confers a cardioprotective role post-heart attack, making the heart much more resilient to stress and heart failure. As a result, potential heart attack patients, would, this, would, this study would allow us to potentially regenerate the damaged heart within these patients, or even reintroduce blood supply to necrotic tissues giving man the ultimate ability to mend a broken heart.